Hello Sagittarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your mini reading focused on you and your crush. Is your crush crushing on you? Do they still desire you? So let's take a look at that here today. General as always guys, it won't resonate with every single person. So please do take from this reading what makes sense for you. Release the rest. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, all of that info is down below. And of course, I'll include a link to all of the decks that you see here today with the exception of the Love Messages deck because we weren't able to find the link for it anymore. So I don't know if it's out of print or if it's just been discontinued. So just FYI on this one. So let's go ahead and get started with my Love and Life Oracle deck. And this particular deck, it does contain two messages per card. And what it takes a look at is how a love connection goes through either its ups and downs as time unfolds, the twists and turns that it goes through. So we'll take a look and see, Sagittarius, how it comes through here for you today. All right, so let's begin. And of course, cross watchers are absolutely welcome. Starting things off with the love and life deck. What's up? Is your crush crushing on you, Sagittarius? I'm guided to this one. Love. Sometimes I wonder if you loved me at all. The life message. It's been really hard missing you since we drifted apart. So there is distance and separation that is presenting itself here when it comes to you and your crush. Sagittarius, okay? So let's add to this with a message from the Love Messages deck. I'm guided to this one. I am struggling to find the right words to say to you. Okay? This could apply to either of you. Maybe you're struggling just as much as they are, Sagittarius. And it's been really hard missing you or you find it really hard missing them. All right, so let's add to this with some additional insight from the Pining Rose Crush Edition by Calico Moon. For Sagittarius. All right, so what are the messages here? What are the messages for today, for this mini reading? Made of money, okay? You might be thinking about somebody who's really well off. They're wealthy. They could have all the money in the world, but maybe something's missing. Maybe they don't have the love that they're looking for. You know, at the end of the day, you can't buy love in search of a wife. So for some of you guys, whoever represents the masculine energy in the relationship, they're looking for a life partner here. Be courageous. Maybe they are through this search for a life partner. Maybe they're allowing their fears to kind of get in the way. And this is a reminder from the angels, either for yourself or your person, to be strong, to be courageous, and to go for it. Especially if they're struggling to communicate with you. Look at this. I want you. This love has potential. And lastly, I'm waiting for you to make a move. So they might be waiting on you, Sagittarius, to reach out and to communicate. And bottom of the deck, it does say, let's talk. They want you. They want to talk to you. They still see the potential in this partnership. They're struggling to find the right words to communicate with you. So my feminines, if, for example you are exactly what this masculine is looking for. If you guys are in separation or if things just aren't going the way you'd like, maybe they're actually waiting on you to reach out or to at least give them some sort of sign that you're open to talking. Okay, so I'm guided to pull from my silhouettes deck here. Sagittarius, let's add to this. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius. They want you. They want to talk to you. So no doubt they're still crushing on you. They still desire you. But maybe they're afraid to reach out. Look at this. Faith. 
I believe in us. We can get through this. This always reminds me of a wedding, like a bride and a groom in a church setting. So either you see a future with them by way of marriage and long-term commitment, or this is really what it is that they're wanting with you, okay, in search of a wife. What else, please, for Sagittarius? We have stepping stones. Learn from your past mistakes to avoid life's pitfalls and thunderstorms. Until you do, tread lightly. The wrong step might land you in deep water. And maybe that's why they're afraid to take any step. Because maybe they're still in the process of learning from past failures. They need to be courageous. They need to let you know that they are open to communication. They want to talk to you. We've got divination. Sometimes it's best not to know. Trust and believe that what's meant to find you will. And that's why we've got faith right here. Absolutely. The next card is blind. You can't unlock the possibilities unless you see the possibilities. And it's so true. It's all in how you perceive it. We have dream house. It's not a home unless we're in it together. And starting off with that made of money card, you know, somebody might have this huge house and it's empty because they aren't sharing it with anyone. And they see you as somebody that they want to be able to share it with. We do have communication. So much I want to say but can never seem to find the words when you're right in front of me. I'll find a way. Going back to this message, I'm struggling to find the right words to say to you, but eventually they will. And then we have portal. Your love is the doorway to my heart. And isn't it interesting how this is a house right here? So maybe the doorway to their home as well for you guys to share a life together, share a home together. And lastly, splash, this thing between you and I. Let's dive in and get wet. All in, you know, both feet in. Not one foot out the door. That is what's presenting itself here, Sagittarius. You've got somebody who's crushing on you that really wants to build a life with you. We're talking marriage here. This is not somebody who wants to mess around and, and just play around with your love, with your heart, with your affection. Okay, so let's add to this with some tarot. I'm going to use my tarot teacher. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius. Is your crush crushing on you? I would have to say yes. Do they still desire you? Absolutely. This love connection has a lot of potential, even though you guys are not together right now. So this was landing on my desk like this, which I feel it was wanting to come up with in the reverse. That's how I'm going to read it. This is the five of pentacles picking up off of earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus for some of you. I like this because in the reverse, this is recovery. Improved finances also. It's interesting, you know, one person could be really wealthy and maybe the other one is struggling. Whatever the side of the fence you fall on there, Sagittarius, if that makes sense for you. But things are getting better. This represents positive changes right here and overcoming adversity in a partnership. So that's a great card coming up in the reverse there. What else for Sagittarius? Angels and spirit guides, please. Interesting, guys. That's how it landed on my desk. Another card wanting to come up in the reverse. Peaceful resolution in the reverse. A desire to reconcile. Forgiveness. Making amends. 
ending conflicts. I love that. Two fives, okay? So, because fives in tarot, it represents adversity. It's a very challenging number. And both of these cards, both fives coming up in the reverse when it comes to this scenario. What else, please, for Sagittarius? You guys could have had a tower moment that contributed to a separation and a breakup, but this can also represent an awakening. Okay, because going back to this very first message from the Love and Life deck, sometimes I wonder if you love me at all. Life, it's been really hard missing you since we drifted apart. And what might have caused the two of you to go into separation was a tower moment here. Something very painful, unexpected, that caused a separation, a rift between the two of you. But you've got a new beginning with that Ace of Wands. Wands is fire. You're a fire sign, Sagittarius. So this, I feel, has a very special message coming through for you and that there is a new opportunity for growth in this partnership. This love has potential. It does. It absolutely has potential for you guys to work this out. That is what's presenting itself here. So let's go ahead and wrap it up with some dialogue messages from your crush, Sagittarius. And of course, some of these messages could be from you as well. So your crush might actually be waiting for you to do the reaching out. Look at this. I love you. So sometimes I wonder if you love me at all. Very much so. They still love you. They still care for you. Sometimes I remember the memories we've shared. It makes me smile, laugh, and cry what I'd give to create new memories again. You see? They want so badly to be able to have a new beginning, to see the potential of where this could go. I can only tell you that I love you in the 5D for now. That's because in the 3D world, you guys are not together, not yet. But you, you certainly can be. You absolutely can be. And clearly it's indicating here, Sagittarius, that they love you. They want you. They see a long-term commitment here with you. So if you're open to that, and at least opening up lines of communication here, you guys can work this out. That's what I'm getting. Okay? So if you're interested in your own personal private reading, Sagittarius, all of that info is down below. That's where I'm going to leave it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I will see you next time. Take care.